Hey, Mark and Melody here with another segment of The Whole Message where we're bringing healthy recipes to you again. And I just love Melody's soups. She always has different unique soups that are such a joy. You know, soups is one of my favorite foods, so Comfort. I eat a lot of them. Yeah, Comfort it is. Food. And I don't care if it's winter or summer, I'll eat chili. Really? Oh, yeah. Do you do any cold soups? You know, no. Gazpacho? And Not really. I I've got a cold cherry soup and a cold cucumber soup. I'll bet you they'd be good. Yeah. But I like hot soups, and I mean, I really like my soup hot. Yeah. A lot of people blowing it down. Not me, I'm eating it. No. Yeah, over in the desert, you know, it's a lot of uh, cold soups. Cold soups. Yeah. Okay, well, we've got some fun ingredients here. I see some asparagus and some cauliflower. and. We do, and you know, I'm going to dump that cauliflower in there. And the reason why I'm not cutting that up into small chunks, Mark, is because I'm going to dig that back out after it's cooked and I'm going to puree it. Because that way I, have, I don't have to use as many cashews, lower my fat, to make my right right cream. gotcha gotcha you're going to use all of that then in a blend i'm going to blend it okay sometimes i just do parts of it so right well there might be a few little parts after that how about let's put some water in here okay Back over there he's just really relaxing yeah there. I, i'll tell you oh so, i'm sorry do i need more or? just a little bit more you know what that's about it because okay. i really just want these vegetables to uh get nice and transparent too much water, you're not going to blend it into a, it's going to be saucy, right? Not watery. Uh, there'll be just a little bit, right, and there's going to be a little bit of chunks mm -hmm. of the of the, of the uh, asparagus, but not much. Okay. It's more of a creamy soup. Yeah, I actually like the armrest here. It's kind of a, you know, sometimes we just want to be I, casual. And, I'd have to be on a stool. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know, there has, there's advantages. Um. <laughs> There's advantages of being short, like you can see things on the aisles at the supermarket easy. And there's disadvantages because you need somebody tall like Mark to just, I love how they just reach up there and grab something and you're just stretching and you can't get it. I have a lot of difficulty getting stuff off the bottom shelf. Not me. <laughs> you notice all the kids' cereals? Where do they have them? Bottom. Where they can all cry the to mom, yeah. All the sugar. And then the, the ones that are uh, more advertised with terrible ingredients, more sugar for adults because we're smarter or more our, our eye level, but the healthiest of the cereals are way up at the top. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You gotta read up and you've gotta really search for them. Yeah, amazing. You know what, Mark, if you want to, we're gonna put some of those cashews in the Vitamix and we're gonna put just enough water to blend and make those nice and creamy. Is that about it? I think so. We might have to add a little bit more water, but that's pretty onion? good. Onion? Uh, some onion powder, about a tablespoon. I can do that. There you go. I like the onion. You got a lot of onion in there too. Though, I, so. I do have an onion in there and I'm going to puree that so we're not doing a whole lot. But the onion powder does for some reason give a different flavor it than does. the onion itself. It does. It does. I, you know, Mark, isn't it that the onion powder has the most potent of the flavor of the onion and then the onion granules are a little bit less and then the onion itself, isn't that the way it goes? Yeah, and I think a lot of that's from the drying process and mm -hmm. that type of thing. Mm -hmm. And you're just gonna puree that there till it's nice and creamy. Well, I hope I don't need to really get down there and blend it, because I'm not gonna make it we with this, am I? some more water. Okay, here we go. We're watching it grow. Is that it? I think so. Yeah. Okay, now what we're going to do, though, is I'm just gonna leave this set. We're gonna let this soup steam, the, these vegetables, and then when we come back, we're gonna put some of the vegetables in here and then combine the soup and it'll be done. Okay. All right. So. We'll be right back. Mark, this has been about 20, 25 minutes, depending, you know, how soft you want or if you want a little bit crunchiness to your vegetables. So I think, yes. Okay. It is soft. I'm going to shut this off. And then what we're going to do, if you'll pull the blender over here, I'm going to give you, I don't want all of it. Now, somebody might want to take and um, put all of it in there and they might want a real, you know, soft creamy soup but i i do like a little texture okay you'd almost make it like a bisque um by theory 
And I, I try to get all the cauliflower. I just leave a little bit of the... Um, asparagus for the uh, texture part? Asparagus. Yeah, I was actually, actually going to go and grab another bag out of the freezer because I thought she was going <laughs> to blend it all together. And she's like, oh, no, I'm going to keep some of this for texture. Uh, but that's what I would do. You could set some of the asparagus aside and then just mm -hmm. sprinkle a couple on the top. Oh, yeah. I think that is good. Okay. And we're going to do a quick blend on this, aren't we? Mm -hmm. And we've already got the cashews in there. Okay. Ready? Mm hmm So it doesn't take long at all. It doesn't take long It's at all. really thick. Right. And I'm going to put a little bit of salt in my soup. Just going to go back in there? That's going to go back okay. in here. All right. And then depending how thick and thin, you can add water to it or um, that type of thing. Beautiful. Now, if you want to put a little bit of the McKay's chicken seasoning in here, we can do that as well. I probably don't have enough salt in it for Mark, but he's going to taste it. No, Mark, this is your spoon. No, 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 no. <laughs> That's the diet spoon. No, you can see through this, but whatever you do, <laughs> don't use a spoon like this to eat soup, all right? <laughs> I, that is Mark's spoon from Did now on. Did you say on. diet spoon? <laughs> if you, <laughs> if you want to lose weight. Use a, bowl, a spoon like this to eat your soup. You know, the, the thing of it is, Mark, if you think about it, <laughs> if, if you were to use that spoon for and had nothing to eat but soup, and then that's the soup, the spoon that you ate, guess what? You would lose weight, right? <laughs> beautiful, beautiful. Mark, how did it taste? Awesome, perfect. Awesome. Yeah. It's a little thick. You can thin it down like mm -hmm. Mark said, yeah. but you don't have to add any more cream base to it because of the cashews. You've got plenty and the cauliflower. Yeah. For somebody who's on a no-fat diet, they can actually eliminate the cashews and just use the cauliflower. So sure, but it gives it a real creamy. Oh, so. it does. Really. And I, I think, um, yeah, you could. This is the concept, and when you get the concept, then you can run with it in a number. Of Do whatever ways, you but, want. But the cashews with a little bit of water, mm -hmm. blend that up. Uh, just steam off whatever vegetables you want, mm -hmm. mix the two together, and you're there. Yeah. Make it thicker or thinner by the amount of water you use. And right, and you could do this with broccoli. I mean, you can pretty much do it with anything. Your main spices is going to be your onion, your garlic. Uh, um, so there you go. And uh, that easy to make a wonderful soup at home. Uh, what do we got going on? We've got websites. What's your website? MelodyPrettyman.com. I knew that. You knew that. Yeah. And, and what's yours, Mark? Um, ChefMarkAnthony.com. And I knew that. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you, thank you all for tuning in, and uh, we will see you next time in the kitchen.